Hi. How's it going? Pretty well. How are you? I'm so good. So good to see you. I know, right? Um, while you get settled, I'm going to, I like to get us started with some clips. So All right. let's watch some. Oh, cool. You want to like give us any insights, you know, while we're watching here, feel free. Sure, but, of course. Yeah. yeah, this is the video I filmed with Tyler, um, living in LA. I was working a full time job during uh, during the time I was filming for this part. So it took a while to complete. <laughs> but happy to. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was a fun clip. I actually did that second try. <laughs> what? And me and Tyler were like, yes, and we just like left. <laughs> Yeah, we, and this was like during my super angry phase, like, cause I was just stressed out about stuff. So I was like, always like having a temper tantrum when I'd skate. And so the fact that I landed, I was like, amazing, let's go. <laughs> like, I need to go home now. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was, man, those missions were so fun. Like, what a time. Oh my God, this clip, I had to go back there for that. And I had some dudes like harassing me fucking sorry um in the parking lot <laughs> um they were like yeah it was kind of stressful i was the first time i went to go try that there were these dudes like just saying really i don't know homophobic misogynistic things to me and i was like left because i couldn't concentrate and then here we are in new york i finished this um i filmed these last clips in like a weekend tyler came yeah. out for like a long weekend and we just like hit as many spots as possible and this was like tightening up the loose ends getting it ready to be a part this is fucked up dude <laughs> <laughs> your face though you're like yeah i was so <laughs> so happy oh my god like so good. beyond words you know how I know you filmed these last couple tricks all in a weekend? It's because you have the same kit, like. The same outfit? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just playing, but. Oh my god, okay, so look how ridiculous this is. Like, okay, first of all, what is that outfit? Like, <laughs> what am I doing there? But it's because that was when my apartment burned. Oh! Burned. And so I was staying at Vanessa's house, and for some reason I just like only had white socks. I don't know, so I just looked crazy in that clip. <laughs> It's dope. It's it's a look. Yeah, I I I went there. So sick. All right. Yeah. And you told me the story about this ender, but I think the people need to hear it. Okay, yeah. So I was here and I was trying nose slide, nose manual, nollie heel flip out. And I just like I don't know, like I just landed in the burial heel position and I just tried it and I just landed it. And then me and Tyler both just started cracking up. Like, <laughs> we both just lost it. We were just losing our minds. So that was super fun and like really unexpected. Like I did not think I was gonna do that. Like I didn't go there with that intent at all. And That's then so that sad. happened and so I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. We're done. <laughs> Yeah. Was that the last thing that you filmed? Was your I always wonder if the ender it was like the end or not. No. No, we we skated there. We were skating all around New York in the summer and like going filming and like after we gathered all the footage, I just kind of was like I think that is the best trick of all the tricks I did. Yeah. And I think like traditionally a lot of people like when I first sent the footage into Thrasher, they were like Oh, now you just got to start filling those enders in and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> like, I was just like, you don't get it. Like, whatever. Like, I don't go out and be like, okay, now I have to film my enders and like go skate big stuff. Like, I just don't like jumping down big stuff ever. So, reasonable. So, I was like, you know what? I was like, yeah, totally. I just like agreed. I was like, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll finish up. Yeah, for sure. Enders, yes. And then I was like, I think I'm just gonna use that. Like, I tried to actually hard flip a three block and I just was like, why am I still hard flipping stuff? Like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> we all I mean, like I do it. care. Like, I low-key still want to be hard flipping stuff, but, like, I also just want to, like, do manuals and whatever. Why not? So. Um, super dope. Well, thank you for being here, Leo. Uh, real quick, what's up, y'all? This is Kristen, reporting live from Occupied Wamish Territory, a.k.a. Seattle. 
And yeah, these are the true stories of skaters picked to go live on Instagram, have their responses recorded, find out what happens when people stop being polite and start getting real. Welcome to the real world. Leo, how are you? I'm so good. I'm having a great day. It's super nice weather up here. I'm in upstate New York currently, about two hours north of the city right now, and just hanging out with Mel and my dog, and it's just been super nice, so I'm happy. I love it. That's amazing. Um, are you ready to get into the basics? We got yeah. the basics. We started Let's off. Um, what is your age? <laughs> I'm 400. No. <laughs> um, I'm 28. I, like, forgot. I'm 20. Am I 28? Yeah. I'm 28. And yeah, nice. late 20s, you're like 14? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. 28 looks uh, well. That's awesome. So you already told us you're residing currently in upstate New York, obviously, because of COVID, yeah? Right, yeah. Cool. Uh, where did you grow up skating? I grew up skating in Covina, California. It's a suburb town um, in Southern California. Uh, yeah. Lots of curbs, lots of loading docks, stages and different schoolyards and just kind of roaming around in little old Covina. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, what were your first uh, real skate shoes that you got? What were my first real skate shoes? Oh, my God. It had to be a pair of Vans. Mm -hmm. But then I remember I was in a uh, – when I was in, like, I think fourth grade – I really like really wanted like this fifth grader my best friend's my best friend Lilia's brother was a fifth grader and he had the Mike Vallely Etnies the all black with the like lightning bolt on the back oh yeah I remember those Didn't and I was like I need to have those and so I got them for Christmas that year sick did you and get the I white ones like, that were maybe like white blue and yellow was I've seen those, but I had the all black the all black okay very but I recently googled it because I was like <laughs> just I'm like doing a writing project about like my story and that was like kind of it just came up and I was like what did those shoes actually look like and I saw them and I was like damn those are crazy <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird how puffy they were like I was like how puffy yeah. and round <laughs> yeah yeah and just like the lightning bolt like on everything yeah icon yeah he did um that. incredible um Next question. So aside from stairs and handrails, the obvious, uh, what's like an obstacle you'd be fine just never skating again if it was just deleted from existence, like in Men in Black, the like thing, it's gone? Probably like a flat gap. Mm. Like I just have no desire. <laughs> flat but, gap. Nice. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't want to go like that fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pace. Exactly. <laughs> What would you consider, like, at what point does a flat gap get too long? Are we, for you personally? If I'm going, like, an out-of-control speed, then it's too long. Like, like something Alexis would kickflip or backside flip, I'd be like, like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, like the road <laughs> gaps that they skate, like. Yeah, like, Alexis did backside flip for, like, a Christie app. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about. backside flipped a flat gap, and I was like, how do you do that? Like, yeah. she's amazing. So yeah, that that would be too big for me. But I would do like a, um, I don't know, maybe double the length of my skateboard would be like comfortable. Like a, pa a pallet's length? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, great. Glad we got to the bottom of this. I was very curious. Um, okay, last basic question is my personal fave. Uh, so this is sponsors and shout outs. So you can give past shout outs, you can give current shout outs, and you can also will new sponsors into the future. So like if you, you know, want to get sponsored by Lady Gaga, go for it. You know, I'll let you yeah, know. Absolutely. So past, present, wanna... future, sponsor shout outs. Okay, first of all, shout out to Lisa Whitaker for being just the best human like in skateboarding's existence, okay. 1000% she's had my back since I was like 12 years old, like the day I met her. I'm like, I'm, I'm like 28 and I've like known her like my whole life. So shout out to Lisa. I mean, shout out to Nike and everybody over there because they have been what has made me be able to live my life, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Pawn Shop, all the current sponsors, Spitfire, Jim Thie Did I we're back. Here? And we're back. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so Jim Thebo, Spitfire, everybody on Red Deluxe. Angels. Um, yeah, that whole vibe is the best. Hello. Look at the buggy. Shout out to the buggy. Um, and yeah, like Lady Gaga and like Kombucha would be sick. Yeah, okay, Kombucha sponsor. I know you're out there. <laughs> Hells hey, where you know, at? On the team. I need you. contract. <laughs> um, we need to get you some probiotics on the regular. All right. Yeah. Yes, please. Amazing. So we're gonna get into the deeper questions. You know, we're, right. gonna, we're gonna dig up some some truth here. Um, first deeper question is, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about NYC Skate Project? Yeah. So basically, like when I moved to New York, I just was noticing that you know, there's a lot of there's a lot, a lot more diversity I was noticing mm. in comparison to like skating in LA, but maybe it's just because it's more spread out. But it's like there's like a lot of community and like small groups of like non-traditional skaters around all the time. And I just kind of was like, I really want to like connect with them. But I felt like it was a little challenging for me just socially to be like, hey, like, can I be friends with you or whatever? Like, I just wanted to make a space where we could all come together and like be creative and be safe and open and like just like kind of like make a platform where truly like it's it's a community like collaboration anybody can anybody can give an idea and like i'm down for it i'm basically just like here have this it's yours but it's like everybody you know so that's been a true dream and obviously thank you so much for my dog is just like biting my hair <laughs> i'm not really into it right now carlos come on um <laughs> Yeah, just super appreciate all the input that and support from your end, too, because, like, you've really made it happen for me. It feeling beautiful. My pledge. Um, and I did a little screenshot here just of how easy it is to vote for Leo and NYC Skate Project right now. Um, if you can just grab your day timer right now and just remind yourself to vote on days. Anything else you want to say about voting and, like, what that would mean for NYCSP? Yeah, absolutely. So I got nominated on the Days 100 list, which is obviously a huge honor. Um, and they you vote based on like, whoever's projects you want to support. And if you get a lot of votes, I, like if I get a lot of votes or like enough votes, I'm not sure exactly how many I need or if I need to be like number one. But if I get high on the list, then I'll get a grant. And so that money will just go straight to NYCSP and like whatever community projects we want to fulfill like in the future so that'll be like obviously a huge deal for us because we've just been grassroots like there hasn't been money in it really it's yeah just kind of, we're just pulling stuff together like the best we can so to have some funding behind it would be amazing i mean aside from dude carlos fuck. sorry <laughs> bye bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> um yeah to have some funding like I don't know, to do whatever we want with would be super sick. So I'm really hoping that I can win that. And if it, if people are down to share it, that would be super helpful because you can vote until June, so. Super sick. And uh, somebody's asking about the link. I think it's just dagedigital.com. Um, and I isn't the link so. in your bio too, right? The link is in my bio and you just click the red checkbox like right up at the top there. Yeah, it's probably the easiest voting website. Like you don't need to enter anything basically. Yeah, it's super chill. Yeah. So, cool. Um, so thanks, yeah, thanks everybody for the support. I appreciate it. Yeah, can people vote more than once, do you know? I have no idea, but you could try. <laughs> Might as well. Might yeah. as well. Um, cool. It looks like somebody just dropped the link in there. Again, super easy. Just go to Dazed Digital. Shout out to Mel. Vote for Leo. Yeah, thanks, Mel. <laughs> um, cool. Awesome. Next, slightly deeper question um, is, what are your favorite things to do that aren't skating? I just pulled up this picture of you just <laughs> that picture was insane I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> like what is happening there like nobody in the photo is paying attention and then i'm just sitting there like <laughs> like what is my what is happening there <laughs> I, I should have uh told them not to use that but i was like yeah whatever <laughs> i can change it off this one i just saw this on the internet i was like does anyone ever tell you to like chill the fuck out like this <laughs> it's a little <laughs> smolder <laughs> that we were not ready for. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Um, yeah, other things besides skating. Uh, I'm into recording music. I've been, like, working on, like, 
learning how to use logic and like music production and stuff like that because I want to record songs. Um, I'm super into training my dog. Every time he learns the, a new trick, I just feel like literally so happy. Um, so yeah, that's been super fun. And just like meditation, lots of mental health work, uh, tons. I mean, I meditate. I literally just meditated right before. Same. I'm on here, so I just feel all nice and, you know, zen. Um, yeah, meditation, reading. I have a therapist that I talk to once a week that is like, one of my favorite things ever mm -hmm. and like spending time with mel we cook a lot and that's super fun we've been grilling a ton because there's a grill here at the cabin so kind of just like living a really awesome life right now doing I all the it. yeah and like finding skate spots and stuff and like filming i've still been able to do that because my friend richard is nearby and he's a filmer slash photographer so just keep just still pushing on that's super sick um since you're just the one that like turned me on to headspace and like that resource do you want to share just a little bit about how easy it is to like get into meditation and like obviously it's like impacted your life a lot it's impacted my life tremendously and that of like a lot of people around me especially mm -hmm. in terms of like anxiety and stuff so i just wasn't sure if you wanted to share about your experience with that in particular just because i think access is so like i was like how do we even get into meditating it was always something i wanted to do but like you know what i'm saying yeah, it just feels weird to like not have any guidance. So yeah, the Headspace for people who aren't aware is an app where you have guided meditations that can range anywhere from three minutes to 30 minutes. Um, the, the standard time for meditation in the app is 10 minutes. And most of the time I do 10, but sometimes I'm like busier and like I just do a quick three minute one or whatever. But the way I got in, Carlos is literally eating some, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Mel, if you're watching, can you come get Carla? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're watching. <laughs> He's eating the, the plant. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the way I got into meditation was actually um, when I started training with Jessica Alexander, who's one of the most amazing people I've ever met, honestly. I got it. I got it. Mel, Mel's getting Carlos out of the plant. <laughs> Shout, out <laughs> Shout out, Mel. Shout out, Mel. Carlos. <laughs> like, what is he eating, though? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, and she, part of my training program with her was to also work on mental health because that was like a when we started working together, I was sort of in a low and I needed to set some kind of a foundation for myself. And so by working out and like doing headspace, like fully Jess is like a pillar of my mental health straight up because mm -hmm. she has like been there for me like through it mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah headspace has just changed my life honestly like just i don't know it's like it's hard to talk about it's just like an experience and yeah like, the more you do it the more you get on that level where you're just able to like really observe what's going on and not get just super like i just don't really get involved with my thoughts anymore i'm like those are like over there and i'm over here and mm -hmm. like i don't need to get in the mess you know what i mean but it you know it's just nice to take a step back. So I highly encourage everyone out there to give that a try. Yeah. And I think right now with COVID, it's like free to download. Um, so Is download. it? Yeah. That's amazing because the way I justified it was like, okay, it's like 70 bucks for like the year subscription. Like I would spend that money on like a night out for dinner and drinks or like a date night. You know, it's like, so it costs so little like it seems like a lot maybe in the moment but it's like when you it's the best like investment you could ever make I think you know yeah, yeah. totally agreed yeah I think there's like I don't think everything's free right now in Headspace but I think you could at least download it and there's like certain ones that you can do um That's so yeah cool. definitely definitely check that out cool thanks for sharing that and thanks for sharing that with me personally of it's course changed everything. um Great. Uh, so my next question is, uh, what are like any, I, you're always, you, there's some things of brewing, like you are not just ever like just skating. I know that you're like an incredibly talented skateboarder, but like you're always, you got lots going on, on a lot of things on the stove. Um, do you want to yeah. share about anything that's coming up that you're excited about and ready to share a little bit about or things that we want to look out for that are coming up with you? Yeah, I definitely have uh, something I've been working on with two really amazing people. Um, and I don't want to give too much info about that yet, but that's coming in July. And 
the other thing that's super fun that I've been working on recently with um, Richard is filming a commercial for my Bronson Pro Bearing, which is fun. And actually, the uh, the part of the proceeds for the sales of this bearing will go to the Black Trans Travel Fund, which is a local organization like in New York supporting transportation for Black trans women to get safely from point A to point B. Because a lot of times that's like when the harassment happens is like they're walking and whatever, you know, like it's just not yeah. safe. So, so yeah, that was the organization I chose for just the sales of this bearing because I think it's super important. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Super rad. Yeah. Um, when does that drop? Like, is that? I think the bearings are coming out. I'm going to be on, I have an ad on the back cover of Thrasher. And I think it's coming out then, which I think will come out next week. I think okay. the next Thrasher, I think I'm going to be on the back of. I'm not sure. And then yeah, then there's like a cold commercial edit. I've been filming and like street skating with Richard a bunch, so it's actually yeah. like a mini part. Sick. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I just saw the edit today, like the rough cut, and I was like, oh damn, I kind of like filmed a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, when you get to like a minute, you're like, damn, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, yeah. It's like a minute long or something. And I'm yeah. skating to uh, share a song that Cher wrote when she was 16. Oh my God, I love it. It's so sick. Yeah, it's amazing. Shout out Cher. Yeah, hell I love yeah. Cher. <laughs> well, that's super dope. Uh, speaking of the skateboard, the hashtag capital S uh, skateboarding industry. Uh, my last kind of deeper question is just like in a recent interview, I saw that you were talking a little bit about your struggles, literally just trying to get part of your rent paid by a major footwear company, like maybe 2005, 2016-ish, I think might've been the time frame. So it's not, not even that long ago, um, really struggling to get that, get their ear, right? And so my thought, and now we're in this like era of abundance for our community, which I'm like, I'm not holding my breath personally. I don't know about you, but I wanna <laughs> hope that things are different. And I know that like on the outside, our perspective would be like, man, look at Leo, like they really are coming up and he's getting, hooked up over here and pro thing over there and back cover it's but it's like I know that like it's not a cakewalk for you like every day no. is like dealing with shit and I guess to frame that in a more positive sense is like if there was a young person that's coming up a non-traditional skater you know what type of things would you share with them to help them like navigate the the system I would say number one just like find your people because that has been such a game changer for me and like when I met, you know, like Vanessa and everybody when I was super young, I was like, oh, there's people out here walking the same path. They've been out here for a long time. And then when you started Wheels of Fortune, like to have just like, when it was so small, there was like 15 of us competing or something. And it was just like, that is what has been like a cornerstone for like, like my skate journey I don't know like it's just been really awesome to be with my people and then also just like never compromising yourself in any way um I think is super important and that is something that I went through and kind of learned the hard way as like a teenager because you know people like sponsors just wanted me to like wear women's clothes and stuff and I've talked about this before maybe a lot of people already know this but like mm -hmm. it's just I really didn't get a chance to find myself and I'm just now doing that and it was I don't know just like the more I started to discover who I am the more it was like oh we can't fit you in here or here or here and I was just like okay so the only way I'm gonna get any kind of success is you know and whatever like just dress feminine or something but like I'm like that's not who I am so in the beginning I don't know just give yourself time to figure yourself out. I don't know. I wish I had that time at a young yeah. age. Or maybe like patience with yourself, you know, and that like, yeah, doesn't the opportunities that you get if they're not genuine to you? Like, what is that even for? Yeah, it, exactly. It's really it. And like, I can speak to this personally, because I've like lived it where it's like, Oh, I can only get this but if I compromise this part of myself, and then the whole thing just feels tense and uncomfortable, because it's like, I don't know. I just felt like my life just got compartmentalized in so many different ways that like by the time I was, it was like maybe a year ago, two years ago, I was just like, I don't know what is happening. And I've mm -hmm. 
you know, I feel like there have been like pivotal moments where I've like taken my power back, but like, it's just a constant struggle. Yeah. Up against the skate industry. And there's like a lot of fear, but yeah, I think it's just a matter of finding your people and like skate if you're having fun. And if you don't like it, who cares? Like just do what makes you happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, speaking of happiness, we're going to move into my favorite segment, um, which is the hashtag game. So I'm going to put an image or a video up on the screen and you are going to describe it in three hashtags or less. Um, and if you want to tell a little story or share more after you share the hashtags, go for it. Um, okay. But yeah, are we ready? Yes. Okay. Oh my god! Hashtag 1994. <laughs> hashtag mayor of skateboarding. Hashtag ZX1000. Yes. <laughs> Who is that? Lisa! Lisa! Look at Lisa! I know, oh. sorry the cropping's weird. It's mostly like my face on the screen, but... It's, um, it's so perfect. I literally love Lisa so much. Have, if anybody out there is watching and hasn't seen the Lisa Whitaker video part from 1994, go watch that. Yes. Amazing. Iconic. Iconic. Truly iconic. Okay, next one. Ready? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I'm like, hashtag aww. <laughs> hashtag I love you. <laughs> That's it. That's my hashtag for that. <laughs> yeah. So sick. Uh, do you want to tell <laughs> folks, like, what this shoot was about and all that? Of course, yeah. So uh, here's... You can, I'm standing there with Brian and we were shooting for my orange label colorway collection. So in the label, uh, sorry, in the collection, there's two colorways for the shoes. And then there's a, other different pieces of clothing. And we were just like out street skating to like get whatever photos of us like wearing the stuff and kind of for the marketing purposes. But it was a super fun, cute day. Cause like Brian came out, I got to skate with Kava. I met some pretty cool people that like, whatever photographers and Richard was there filming and I worked with A who was awesome and yeah. Herschel came out and yeah it was like a super awesome shoot like we just had a really good time so that was that's, that's awesome. a fun memory yeah yeah I love A's photos uh at transnormativity if you're not following them definitely hit it with a follow because they're super yeah. talented super talented not only a photographer but also a tattoo artist really yeah that's good to know they're amazing super sick okay next one is a video segment a little bit of a throwback not too much oh my god that's loud <laughs> what is happening <laughs> <laughs> okay number one hashtag was leave me alone <laughs> i love i was so mad during this time <laughs> i was just like i'm just gonna win this shit <laughs> So gracefully. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hashtag angry. Hashtag apartment on fire staying at Vanessa's house in a bunk bed. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah. for those folks that don't know, tell us what this uh, video, where we were at and all that jazz. Yeah. So this is a video segment of my tricks that I did at the 2016 super crown in los angeles mm -hmm. um yeah i had just you could i'm like literally still wearing the same outfit i just got back from new york finishing up my video part and then i flew back so i could skate sls and then like three days before the contest there was a fire in my apartment building <laughs> so i was just like oh cool <laughs> vanessa can i Hi. sit with you <laughs> hey <laughs> it's me again <laughs> Um, yeah, so that was, that's what that was. And so that was the first time I won SLS. Amazing. Yeah. True. It felt good. I was like, I just like, why haven't I won one? It's like, it's time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. Next one. <gasps> ah! Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Zane on me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the hashtag? <laughs> that's the hashtag. Uh have you seen the video? I haven't yet. Watch? I've been literally in meetings all day. You I know. have to watch it. I watched it and I screamed. Hashtag I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I'm going to keep screaming. Hashtag I'm going to play it right after this call. <laughs> 
<laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hashtag me. Oh, buggy. Hashtag buggy long. <laughs> hashtag Mr. Buggy Long. He's so cute. So cute. <laughs> Amazing. Um, well, he doesn't I was fit that see... sweater anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a cute. Nice, cute sweater there. Um, I was going to see if uh, the Q&A had any questions, if you're down. Absolutely, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, you like gas? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. I love when people drop the wild ones. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, actually, a uh, uh, fun random story. My grandma is a jazz singer. Whoa! Yeah, you got so a lot random. of musicians in your fan, if I remember correctly, or some musical, some musical yeah, talent. Well, my dad's side of the family is musical, and like my grandma played in a jazz band called the Dixie Midnight Runners or something like that, and they used to play gigs at Disneyland. Wow! Yeah. That's so sick. And I was like, wow, cool. <laughs> Yay. Um, my friend Kate wants to know how do you get that steady manual for days tips <laughs> alright do your lunges Ooh. <laughs> and you gotta like it's all in the it's in the hamstrings and the butt mm. and the knee like you have to really use like right here okay if you're standing too, you have to bend the knee and if you're standing too straight up you're gonna tip over Okay. So you gotta like lock it in with the knees bent and then you can balance with your upper part. I like to actually explain it. Um, this is like one, I don't know. Okay, so like if you're playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater and you're doing a manual and it has the like triangle shape above you, like you are the triangle and the, these are, this is the, t the tip and then your foot that you're balancing on is the bottom and you have to keep it, keep your shoulders centered over the foot mm. does that make sense yeah like if you're leaning too like it's kind of similar that's it yeah kate and i've been working out in the morning so she's saying we need to get more get our squat on definitely and i actually just got the old friends bands shout out old friends uh they yeah. sell skaters that sell like workout equipment and uh yeah to try to get my whatever that thing is between your like your kind of your hip muscle i don't know it's like that butt muscle thing you know what i'm talking about like when you do the fire walkers, you know what I'm saying? Like, if these are oh, your yeah. legs and you're doing the fire walkers, like, trying to... Yeah, it's your... Yeah, yeah it's the glutes, baby. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Also, deadlifts. I don't know. It's, really? like, seriously, like, there's that. You can do, like, two to one hops, which you, I might need to, like, Google for you. But you, like, land and, like, absorb. Mm. Like like hop to one leg and then just land like and yeah. by doing that and practicing that on both sides you'll get that balance for days that's sick <laughs> yeah also Chris you're more than welcome to join our morning uh workout um all right let's see what else we got here um Tim wants to know has the laundry ever spilled out of the bag whilst getting kicked down the stairs <laughs> <laughs> no unless I do it purposely sometimes I just think it's funny to kick the basket with no lid or no tie and just the clothes explode everywhere and I just find that super funny and one time I did it like the first time I did it with like no lid or whatever a UPS delivery guy came in right <laughs> as the fucking mess exploded and I was just like oh my god and it was a package for me too and I was like Ooh, thank you like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> super awkward oh my god <laughs> That's hilarious. Great question, Tim. Uh, <laughs> Bigfoot Mag, shout out Bigfoot, shout out Migsy, shout out Amy. They want to know what your last meal was. Okay, today, well, besides snacking, my first meal of the day was uh, I made a waffle, egg, and bacon sandwich with potatoes on the side. It was so good. Oh, my God. And then I ate an apple and Reese's. That's everything I've eaten today. Incredible. But the waffle sandwich was good. I don't normally do that, but I was feeling like, like I wanted like a sweet treat. That's sick. Um, somebody wants to know, 
Uh, what music have you been jamming lately? Lady Gaga on repeat, honestly. It's never going to change. Didn't see it coming, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I really love uh, her cover of Your Song by Elm John lately. Ooh. And then, obviously, she just dropped two new singles, so it's, like, those on repeat. And then I got the playlist, so it's, like, some emo stuff happening, but we don't need to go too far into that. I love that the playlist is still, like, your emotional state has improved, but the playlist has remained. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's slow. It's thriving and slowly growing. I'm nurturing it, but I'm also, like, I need to get my Gaga on. Mm -hmm. you know? All in the, you know, balance it out, you know? Yeah. Um, how was skating Milan with everyone in the their crew? So much fun. So Everybody... Cute. Yeah, it was so sweet to, like, just be on a trip with, like, a bunch of, like, queer skaters. Like, that was a first for me, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Like, an intentionally queer skate trip. Yeah. It was, like, that was the best thing ever. And, like, the spots were obviously amazing. And it was also literally, like, a month before Milan was, like, the epicenter of COVID. So I was, like, scared. <laughs> we were all kind of, like scared to travel like they took our temperatures when we were getting on the plane whoa really yeah yeah so uh dodged a bullet there but um yeah I love skating with Jeff and like I met a lot of new friends too which was super fun and skating with uh Jess too Jessica Bailey's like the homie yeah, yeah. I love Jessica I miss skating with her so much that's so sick what a fun fun time yeah so fun um it's just ebbs Wants to know, what's your opinion on starting to skate at a later age? Do you think it really matters? Um, I don't think it matters. Because skating is about having fun. And as long as you're having fun, then that's all that matters. And you can have fun at any age. So therefore, you can skate at any age. Yeah, like a lot of people are like, Did I lose asking you? me, like, yeah, like, am I too old? And like, I don't know. I taught my friend Lisa how to drop in when they were like 50 years old. So, like, I'm pretty sure you can, like, start anytime. Obviously, if you're older, you're going to have to, like, be a little bit more careful, especially if you work full-time or whatever, you know, with your hands or things like that. But, yeah, I agree with you. Um, yeah, okay, I guess. Says, love you and miss you both. If you could have one trick dialed, what would it be? I think a poor connection thing is happening right now, and I'm not hearing you very clearly. Oh, can you see the question on the screen? You're breaking up. Oh, no. Can you see me now? Connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, let me. We'll wait. No worries. I can see you. I don't know if you can see me, though. Are we back? I think we're back. Yay. I can still, you're still kind of breaking up, but whatever. We're hanging okay. out. We're hanging. Oh, here we go. Love and miss you both. If you could both have one trick dialed, what would it be? Backside 360s on flat without a doubt. I thought you, even do, you did one in your part. <laughs> oh, man. I can't hear you at all. Uh, Let me know if what? it gets better on your end. <laughs> Can you see this one? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't I hear you, but I can see the question. So I'll just, oh, wait, now they can't see me. Wait, should we restart this? I think I can see you. I can see you just fine. I think everyone can see you. You can see me? I can't see you at all, but I don't care. This is fun. <laughs> oh my god, I see my friends commenting and I Devin and Kate. Woo! And Mel, I know you in there. Yes, Fred. <laughs> um what love message do you want to send to your ten year old self? Honestly, I'm like Real talk, doing some inner child work in therapy, and I'm just like, it's going to be okay. That's what I would tell my 10-year-old self, <laughs> that it's going to be okay. That's amazing. Um, let's do one more. I don't know if you can see me or not. 
Um, Aiden wants to know if you play any instruments. Uh, yeah, I do play instruments. I play guitar mostly. Um, what else do I play? I play a little bit of bass, keyboard, drums, clarinet sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, what else do I play? Yeah, I play some instruments. <laughs> That's sick. Um, okay, last question. Last question. Thoughts okay. on dried mango? I love dried mango. <laughs> I love dried mango. It's so good. Aw. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. I want some um, now. Somebody sponsor <laughs> Leo with some dried mango. Okay, this is important. Can you see me or not? I can't hear you. I'm so sorry. I can't hear or see you, but I know you're there. All right, we're gonna, uh, I'll just, I'll message you. We're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. We're perfectly fine. Wait, the headphones on. Oh, look, I can. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so now that okay. you can hear me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just was going to do a wholesome wrap-up segment. Ready? Yeah, we can see you. <laughs> um, I just wanted to remind everybody that Leo Romero might have rode for Baker for a brief stint in 2009. And there might be this amazing photo of Leo with, like, a loon, okay? And there might be a Leo's Bakery in Rochester, New York. But there's only one Leo Baker, and I wanted to thank them for joining us today. Love you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much. Aww. Thanks everyone for joining. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Everyone have a safe so rest of your much. time. Okay. I love you so much. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining. It's so delayed. It's so funny. Yeah. Everyone have a safe rest of your time. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>